previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father, I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying, though. We should conserve what we have for when we really need it. Good, because right now I really need it. Right. We need to get moving. The Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Not that I care about Tazal. Eh, maybe you're right. Remember, he hunted us all the way to Yunkai for revenge. <laughs> with a man like that, better to kill him and be done with it. It appears that we're not done with it. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah! Bugger a harpy! Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asher. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Veska, what do you think? By all means, listen to your uncle. 
If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? We all need to pull together if we're gonna get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I have the faintest idea how we're gonna pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. You see? Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asha. Beska matters to me. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. Let me know if you find anything. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow. Tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well... Back when Asher and I first started running together... What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asher. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. Rock slide looks recent. It could have been caused by the Targaryen girls 10,000 unsullied marching through here. No. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Kesirinsi! Shit! Come on! Go, go, go! They're right behind us! Damn it! Sasha! Find us another way out of here! Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? Completely burnt. Maybe someone may camp in here and cook tea. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through! We'll hold them off! Come. 
back! Back! Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cutter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, 
No guarantees on potatoes, or lamprey pie, or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrid. I promise, I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrid? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. I will never call you my brother, Finn. I wouldn't fucking want you to. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now... I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. It's not your concern, Finn. That's where you're wrong. I need to know if I'll be fighting alongside a thief. I didn't. Steal your knife. <laughs> you wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Finn, don't worry. You were born to kill wildlings. When I punched you the other day, most men would have gone down like a sack of potatoes. But you gave it right back to me. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. 
Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Jon Snow's right about Mantrader. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Sir Roiland used to make me sharpen all the blades at Ironrath. Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling I am wrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. 
He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. It's a daunting challenge, to be sure. But not an impossible one. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? 